substitutions when you're missing an ingredient. We're going to save you so much money on sweetened condensed milk. Okay, good. You will never buy it again. Have you ever started a recipe and discovered you're missing a key ingredient? Or say you have 60 minutes before the guests arrive and you're nowhere near finished with the meal? Well, Chef Christopher Kernrick shows us a few substitutes that can salvage a potential kitchen disaster. Absolutely, because you know what? All of us, we're right in the middle of fixing something and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I don't have this. Oh yeah, this is the story of my life. Okay, yeah. then if you live far away or even if you don't feel like it, I'm right. going to show you, we have a whole guide of substitutions. Okay, okay. in kitchen disasters. In kitchen disasters. Good book. Okay, so first of all, convection sugar. Mm -hmm. You know when you're making icing and things, it's like, oh, I don't have that. Right, right. Okay, so let's say you need a cup, you get a cup of just plain sugar, put it in your blender and hit liquefy. All right. Don't take the lid off right away because okay. you're going to get this big cloud, but sure. let it sit, which I, which we've done. Let it sit for a while. And when you take it out, voila, you have well, just regular sugar. sugar. You just, yes, you just beat it up. Yeah, you, you're, you're I mean, really grinding. beating it up. Yeah, yeah. you're really beating up. We've had people try this with brown sugar. Don't do that. Okay, thank you. Brown sugar's brown because of the molasses. Wait, so you don't even have to buy confectioner sugar anymore. You yeah. can just stick well, with your... Well, brown sugar will just clog up your blender, sugar. so don't do that. Okay, good to know. Okay, so next part of your recipe, cake flour. Right, I, don't, I never have cake flour. Me, yeah, me either. So if it calls for a cup of cake flour, you can get just three quarters of a cup of just all-purpose flour and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Voila. And that that works as cake flour? It, it, yes, it that's it is cake flour. That's that oh great. Yeah. Such a oh that's such a business. Mm -hmm, I'm not gonna Corn say Corn starch. Okay. Okay, starch is a thickener. Sure. So each starch has a different quality for the thickening, but the best thing for Cornstarch is to use arrowroot. Okay. So one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of arrowroot. You can also use potato starch, rice starch. You can use two tablespoons of flour. It's going to give you a different thickening. Right. But you can also use two tablespoons of quick cooking tapioca. For a thickener, like for, a, a thickener. for starch, basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fantastic because it, it seems like everybody has a box of instant tapioca in their right. pantry. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we don't okay. have to buy. So uh, baking starch. powder. Yeah. Okay, so you pull that tin out. You don't know if the date on there is the date that the company was founded or you when mean, you bought it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've had this 18 So we're going to show you how to test it. Get a little bit of hot water and pour it in here. And if it bubbles up like that, it's good to go. It's good to go. So you can use it. If you don't have it, we have a whole substitute for baking powder. It's baking soda, cream of tartar, and cornstarch, a mixture of that. Okay, and also if you need an instant fog machine at Halloween, oh, yeah. just, yeah. Kids love doing this, yeah. <laughs> just put it in the, put it in the water. Corn syrup. Okay, sweetener. You can use maple syrup. You can use agave. Honey, we had in our culinary school this girl from the South, and she wanted to make her famous pecan pie. It's a good, it, pecan pie is one of my favorites. But we don't have corn syrup where we live. So she used honey, and, and the end like product was amazing. Right, because yeah. they're all sweeteners. Okay. This last thing, we're going to save you so much money on sweetened condensed milk. Okay, good. You will never buy it again. It's expensive, and a lot yeah. of people don't buy it on a regular basis. Get a pen and write this but one down. Okay. You ready? So you're going to get one cup plus two tablespoons of powdered milk. Okay, Put one cup plus two tablespoons powdered milk. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And... One half cup of water. A half cup of water. And you're going to just stir that on high until it's all mel blended up to or melted together. And, and that is it? sweetened condensed milk. If you're in a really big hurry, we have a really fast one that you can do in the blender. I like this one better, but okay. in an emergency, we have something for everything. So, so you don't even have to buy sweetened no. condensed milk anymore. No. That's Wonderful. Christ Chef Christopher Karnrek, thank you so much for being thank here. You. The author of Kitchen Disasters and, and a great <laughs> help to all of us. Stay with your time. We'll be right back with more.